How's it going, people? Well, it's been a little while, but I'm getting back into the rhythm of things. Thought I'd read some more of this. And I found something that appealed to my fickle nature at uh, Trader Joe's. Yeah, <laughs> it's uh, a rosé wine, Oregon grown, uh, undergood. Underwood. Underwood. They spelled it funny. They laid it out differently. Yeah, it's Underwood. I get it now. And it's a, yeah, made in Oregon. And, um, well, I've never had canned, you know, wine before. I've had it in a box. I am a Philistine. <laughs> I've even had, you know, Mad Dog 2020 and stuff like that back in my crazier days. Let's see. And this is uh, something I got at a thrift store, nice and fancy. Norwegian Cruise Line. Apparently, somebody went on a cruise and doesn't want to remember it anymore. So they donated this. Oh, say rosé. Didn't even have to pop a cork. Hmm. Hints of um, kind of raspberry, um, kind of woody. Uh, fuck it, let's read this book. All right, I'm not a connoisseur. <sighs> I'm a Philistine. Section 124 of the DNC. Revelation. Given to Joseph Smith the prophet at Nauvoo, Illinois, January 19th, 1841. I thought he was in prison. This must be, he must have got out. Uh, because of increasing persecutions and illegal procedures against them by public officers, the saints had been compelled to leave Missouri, which is where, God, I mean, the kingdom of heaven's going to be there. Same problem the Hebrews had, you know. There's a promised land. Unfortunately, there's people already living there. The exterminating order issued by Lilburn W. Boggs, Governor of Missouri, dated October 27th, 1838, had left them no alternative. They could have used their magical faith powers and moved a mountain and dropped it on him. Or asked God to help him out. But, eh, you know what, let's do what we would do if there wasn't a God and just... Get out of town. Get out of the state, even. Anyway. I mean, that's probably what I would have done, but then again, I don't believe in magical stuff. Uh, See History of the Church, Volume 3, page 175. It's not bad. It's all right. In 1841, when this revelation was given, the city of Nauvoo, occupying the site of the former village of Commerce, Illinois, had been built up by the saints. And here the headquarters of the church had been established. So they're back to square one. <sighs> Proclamation to the President of the United States, I think he's busy right now, but, you know, I mean, was back then. Um, <laughs> okay. Uh, President of the United States, the governors of the states, 
and to all the rulers of all nations. All of them. Wow. At least the ones you can see from a high mountain. <laughs> the one their faith could probably move if they used it. I mean, about the equivalent of a mustard seed would do it. But never seems to. You're not going to walk over my laptop, are you? Ugh. Okay. Um, he's photobombing us. Oh, that's nice. Thank you. He's winking at me. All right. Um, blessed state of former... Members of the church, wait, yeah, blessed state of former members of the church who had died. So yeah, the former, all right. <laughs> They're a little late, a lot late. Uh, George Miller called to the bishopric. It, by the way, uh, I don't know if you guys know this, I probably mentioned it. You know, my late uh, step-grandfather was a Mormon bishopric. Uh, actually, he wasn't a prick at all. He was really nice. Had a good sense of humor <sighs> for a long time, but he's gone now. Uh, but I liked him. And he was a bishop. Of course, they hand those out pretty good. You know, you know, pretty liberally, I think. It's like when you're in Scientology, you can be an auditor probably in the next three months and start bringing in business. Or six or something. By the way, I have a bunch of Scientology mail backing up. Sorry. Going to have to do that in the future, too. Uh, all right. A house of entertainment for strangers to be erected. A temple to be built at Nauvoo. No baptismal font upon the earth for the administration of baptisms. For the dead. Sorry, Casper. <laughs> the friendly ghost. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if they got around to baptizing him. He's not real, but neither is any of this shit. Just motions people go through. Rituals and customs and traditions. Doesn't mean anything, but it feels good to some people, I guess. Gives them something to do. All right. Like baptizing dead people. <clears throat> reason for the command to Moses to build a tabernacle in the wilderness. Promises of revelations concerning sacred things thus far hidden. <sighs> I wonder if they'll also tell us about why Moses needed to build a brass serpent staff and stick it in the ground to cure all those Hebrews, those stiff neck Hebrews that got bit by fly, flying fiery serpents. <coughs> and then later on, I think uh, Hezekiah had the thing torn down as a pagan, pagan shrine because people were forgetting it was actually Moses and had nothing to do with paganism. <sighs> they paganized it. <clears throat> anyway, yeah, no, no, uh, no dead baptisms. All right. Reason, uh, wait, wait, skip a little bit. Uh, men who prevent the saints from carrying out the commandments of God to be held accountable. Delay in building a temple in Jackson County, Missouri. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Hit pause. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, the delay is tolerated. Necessary, too, but they didn't say that. See, that's what I would, how I would have phrased that. It's necessary. They're saying, well, we'll tolerate it since we don't have a choice. Hmm. 
Hmm. The house of entertainment to be known as Nauvoo House. Okay. That was uh, inventive. Directions for its building and administration. We haven't even started. We're still in the preface, by the way. Uh, William Law called to be a counselor in the first presidency. Hiram Smith called to be the patriarch of the church. They're giving out patriarchal status now? <sighs> he must have some gray hairs going on or something. All right. Or had, excuse me, they're all dead, past tense. Uh, but probably not gone, just gone there. Or, uh. His great powers and privileges. He has great powers and privileges. Hiram Smith, his brother, isn't it? It's what God wanted. He receives the same office in the priesthood once conferred upon Oliver Cowdery. General Stake and Lop That's what it says, stake. General stake and local officers of the church named. Okay. And that's a, it for the preface, and it went on too long, and I oh shit, yep, he's on a tear. Oh shit. <laughs> he just keeps going. Oh fuck. How many pages? God damn, this is a big one <sighs> to be continued. I'm going to need to get some more wine. Stay tuned, unless you didn't care for the preface, which is basically summing up what they're going to talk about. Peace the fuck out. I have enough, another video.